Hey guys, hey, I just wanted to uh, thank everybody for the support I've gotten so far on uh, some of the ideas that I've come up with at the uh, engine vents and things like that. And wanted to say, hey, this is the first video I'm going to post um, on another product. And what I'm thinking of right now is that some of you guys have seen where I have um, mounted my barbecue, or my grill rather, on the transom underneath my swim deck. So the problem I had with that is it's really cool, but I don't really have any place to put anything. So what I ended up doing was, you know, you lift up the transom locker door and you, like I balanced my um, uh, utensil kit, uh, the tools and things on there. And it didn't seem to work very well, you know, and it's kind of stuff's falling off. So I decided, hey, I need to have a side table, something to put something on. And I thought, you know, most of the C-Rays have that transom locker handle. It's made out of 7 8 tubing on at least uh, the smaller cruisers. I think I'll uh, ask a couple of the guys with the bigger boats if it's a 1 inch, but at least on a 260, it's a 7 8 handle. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to stop the video here and uh, try to turn this camera around. And what I'm going to do is uh, show you what I've done. All right. Welcome back. Hey, so here's what I've done. I've got, uh, I've got this table that I made. Uh, some of you guys have seen my cockpit table before with the laser uh, etching of Nihalania on the uh, on there. And hey, there's my transom sign. But anyway, um, what this is made out of is is ironwood, or another name for it is Ipe. So this is really dense, really hard stuff, and it ends up really looking good. It's a nice tight grain. It could probably stay outside if you wanted to. Not that anybody would want to permanently mount it. And then I have some sapile on the end caps. And sapile is kind of like a, um, uh, similar to an African mahogany, um, but it's got a little bit more of an amber tone to it than that dark, um, uh, the dark ipe. So hey, here's what I've done. I've mounted it, and I'll show you how I've done that. I've mounted it underneath with bimini hardware. So I put in a small bracket, which basically matches what I've got for my actual bimini here. Um, and I've tucked it up away so it's not interfering with my sign. And we're coming back at quite of an angle here, so, but really all it's doing is supporting it from rotating. And you can see that the clips mount onto that 7 8 railing really nicely. So I'm going to turn on my flash here so you can see a little bit better. But those clips just snap right on, and then I've measured it out so that it's really tucked up underneath here. And so for most of the boats, this is probably going to be a fixed distance, and I'll double check on that but, um, and do my research. Uh, but we want that thing tucked back as close as we can just to keep that thing from rotating but uh, ultimately that way you're not interfering with any of your signage or anything on the back of the boat but this is really going to make it nice for grilling so have a look I'm going to offer two sizes this one's 24 by 11 um, and then there'll be a smaller one if anybody doesn't want that that big of a size this one's just going to work out nice for me I think so um, I've also thought about maybe putting a, uh, a drink holder in it but hey have a look I'm gonna post this on Club CRA tonight and see uh, how many people are interested and uh, we'll go from there thanks again for looking